Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I am gonna share a, an amazing gift from Dylan over at Double D Vintage Cards and uh, some pickups from his Whatnot sale. You know, if you don't know, Dylan's doing Whatnot sales every, I think it's every other Wednesday. Um, and his cards are his cards are amazing. It's a lot of fun. You get out there and you, um, you know, you're chatting with people and there are other content makers. There are just people out there having a good time. Uh, Dylan does a great job of running it. Um, and I had a blast. I picked up some sweet cards that I want to share with you. And then, you know, Dylan also gave me a gift that Dylan, I, I, I can't say thank you enough for. It's an amazing gift. Um, and I will talk more about it when we look at these cards. So I'm going to flip this camera and uh, show you uh, the fun stuff I've got from Dylan. Hang, hang tight. Okay, so before we start um, sh sharing the cards, I just want to tell you that um, in addition to having great cards and great deals and having a lot of blast, Dylan, Dylan's fun with his whatnot. He's also, I mean, he's amazing. Like those cards, his his um, his whatnot sales are on end, end on Wednesdays, probably at 6, 6.30 his time. And the cards are at your house on Monday. Um, the first time they came on a Tuesday because Monday was a holiday. And then, then the second time, while I was on a business trip, they showed up on a Monday. So Dylan's got this thing down pat. He kicks he kicks Fanny over anybody else you're buying cards from, and it's a lot of fun. So one more plug for Dylan's whatnot. you got to jump on there and get some good cards. Here's the first card I picked up. And I had never seen this card before. It's a 1969. It's a Bob Gibson fan 17 to set a new World Series record. Look how sweet that card is. This right here, by the way, is not um, the card. It's in a. He puts it in a sleeve and then he put puts that in a, into a sleeve. He puts it in a holder and then he puts it into a sleeve. And that's just the the lines of the sleeve. Um, I didn't want to take it out because it shows his grade. Dylan thinks this thing is a, a, a sixth grade, and boy, I would have to agree, Dylan, and I can tell you, eventually we're going to find out, because this card will look beautiful in a tuxedo at some point, and it will eventually get there. And I think I paid maybe 9 or $10 for this card, so, I mean, that to me, that's a steal. Next card I picked up was this 1965 Kurt Flood. Uh, this card, it's just a beautiful card. You know, it's got a little bit of a soft corner down here in the right, but it's a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, I think I got it for six bucks. And, you know, to me, Kurt Flood should be in the Hall of Fame uh, for what he did for free agency. He, you know, pretty much was blackballed from baseball. Um, you know, so he was, he was on a potential Hall of Fame trajectory uh, before he was really cut out in his early 30s. So, Kurt beautiful card this is really the first kurt flood i've owned so i was stoked to pick that up i love the 69 set i'm a dodger fan and then there was this beautiful don sutton and this card is really really well centered like perfectly centered um beautiful back dylan's got this thing as a eight stained and I tried to figure out where the staining was. It's not here, because that's on a, all cards. That was on his uniform at the time of the pitcher. I'm thinking Dylan was probably talking about right up here. There's a little potential stain, but uh, that's just a, a beautiful Don Sutton card that I picked up for around $8. So I was so excited to grab this. 69 is the first set I ever opened as a kid. A lot of people don't love it. I absolutely love this set. So uh, love that card. Sticking with the 69s, I picked up uh, this Fergie Jenkins, which this is a high-numbered card, and it's a really hard card to find. Uh, the centering on this is not bad. It's For me, it's really sharp. For Dylan, I know he struggles with it, which is probably one of the reasons why he's selling it and going to look for a better centered version. But the corners are sharp. The back is sweet. I think this was like a $24 card of a 69 Ferguson Jenkins that, you know, it's it's a, it's numbered 640. So tough card to get. I love Fergie. He was a great, great pitcher. I think he doesn't get enough credit for how good he was. I think Shane uh, over at Shoebox Legends was uh, talking about um, Fergie and how good he was, what an inning eater he was in one of his latest videos. But 
Really excited to grab this card. I told you a while back I picked up a Junior Gilliam and I thought I was done with Junior Gilliam. And then all of a sudden, this card, Dylan threw this card out there. And this is a 1954 Bowman. And look at this card. I mean, yeah, the centering is off. Um, and it's kind of a diamond cut, but look at the coloring on this card. I mean, that's just a beautiful card. When I saw this card, you know, I had to go bid for it. I had to uh, had to grab this card. I think I picked it up for 24 bucks. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. Absolutely love that card. And now I knew I was done with Junior Gilliam, and then all of a sudden, Dylan goes and throws up this 1958, which, man, I, I love this card. This is one of the two cards that I wanted to pick up uh, for Jim Gilliam, and, you know, I saw it. Um, I love the 58 set, and I decided I needed a third Jim Gilliam in my set. I think I picked this one up for about 24 bucks. Uh, love the way that looks, and... You know, the one thing I just kind of realized is how much Jim Gilliam, at least to me, looks like Mookie Betts. So uh, I know Shane over at Shoebox Legends, he's a big uh, Mookie fan. So Shane, you tell me, uh, the, does Jim does Jim and Mookie look alike or is it just me? Uh, beautiful card. Look at the coloring on this. So I was super excited to grab that one. And then the last card, and this was the one I spent the most money on. I think I spent a little over 50 bucks with everything. And you know me, I love leader cards. And the, especially the 67 leader cards with the 66, the coloring with the black and the white border is absolutely brilliant. This has got, it's got my all-time favorite player, Henry Aaron, in there. You know, and it's got Willie Mays and it's got uh, Richie Allen, who... I believe we'll get in the hall someday. So you got two Hall of Famers on this, and you got a third Hall of Famer. Uh, and this is a beautiful, beautiful card, uh, Dylan. Dylan's got this thing as a 6.5. I would have to agree. This one's definitely uh, going to make its way to SGC for me at some point. So those were the cards I bought for Dylan. And then, you know, Dylan... Um, he had shared a 1970 Rod Carew that he, um, I think it was on trade night. And, you know, I remember he was talking about the potential. Should I sell it? Should I trade it? And I remember asking him, you know, I'd, I'd be interested in it. And then, um, lo and behold, Dylan, um, he just sent me this card, um, which Dylan, you know, I, 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 I would have purchased this from you for, um, and you know, he, he, He's had this card in his um, collection for 24 years, and um, it's special to him. And, you know, in his note, he, he you know, and when we talked he, or texted back and forth, he just wanted it to, to, to go someplace to a friend that he knew would cherish it. And Dylan, um, this is such a beautiful card. I, I don't, I'm at, I'm kind of speechless here. I know I'm just bubbling, bumbling on my words here because... I just, it's such a generous and thoughtful thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. You know, I will cherish this card, Dylan. This card will stay in my collection in this case, in this form, um, as long as I have a collection. The only thing that can get this card out of my collection, Dylan, is if you told me you, you wanted it back. Uh, outside of that, this is just so cool. I'm a huge Rod Carew fan. Um, this is right when I was collecting cards and, and I know how special this is for you, Dylan. So I just wanted to um, say thank you. At some point, I will find a card that uh, screams Dylan to me and I will return the favor. But um, wow, look at this. I mean, Dylan's just a great guy, guys and, and girls. You got to um, you got to check out the whatnot. Um, I I, I I want Dylan's whatnot to be successful, um, although I do like uh, getting my deals on there, and he's, he's starting to grow a big crowd. So check it out. His cards are fantastic. You know, Dylan's Dylan's the real deal, and he's not just the real deal, you know, as a collector. He's the real deal as a human. He's just a really good guy. So thanks again, Dylan. Um, thank you all for um, allowing me to share these with you. I hope everybody's doing well. Until we talk again, stay safe. Keep collecting. Talk to you soon.